Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening video. So it is Tuesday, which means maintenance day. I have quite a few things to do. I don't think I'm gonna get to all of them, but it has been raining like crazy here. Severe thunderstorms for probably, oh, it's Tuesday since Friday. So all weekend, which means that A, haven't been able to get out in the garden. Some things are floppy from all the rain. Um, some things like weeds have gone crazy. Some plants have gone crazy. One of my gladiolus is actually about to bloom. We've got buds on a lot of them. As you can see, today is the first day we haven't had any rain. So all of these things that I have to plant, oh, the buds are loud. Um, over in front of the new shed, because the new shed is here. Um, I'm so excited. Are starting to wilt a little in the sun. So I'm actually gonna move all of these things up on the cover, under cover on the porch where I can water them really easily. Um, a, that way I can water them. B, they'll be shaded. And C, I'll be able to get back into my flower bed. All the vitas back here are going nuts. And so in addition to fertilizing and weeding, I really need to transplant all my little vinca seeds that have started, they reseeded last year that are coming up to places. I actually want them. They're big enough now to move. Um, I need to move the zinnias that reseeded. I need to move the salvias that have reseeded. I also need to plant this hydrangea in the ground because um, it is going in the new flower bed where we got two from mom's house. One's doing great and has a bud. The other one that looks like a dead stick still looks like a dead stick. And I got this one. It was $26.98. It is a beautiful plant. I got it for half off. So I was like, you know what? The dead stick is coming out and this one's going in and we're just going to call that done. So for sure, I want to fertilize and weed today. I want to get this guy planted and I want to get all of this watered. And then if I don't get around to um, moving all those things that are reseeded. We might have to do those in a second video tomorrow. So we're gonna start talking and we're gonna start doing because we got stuff to do y'all. Okay, so you can see I moved all of these plants up on the porch. I did leave my white star hydrangeas, my pink knockout roses down here. This from about here back gets enough shade that they'll be fine. And they're still easy enough to water, but everything else, I don't think you can really tell from down here, is a... Uh, lined up over here on the porch. So they'll be shady and out of the way, which is two of the main things. But I also cut back these <laughs> Super Tunia Vista bubblegum. They are true vistas. They go nuts. They have been in for about two months. So this is two months of growth. I have the Super Tunia Vista bubblegum and the verbena, the stormburst. And they were just growing up my middle thrillers, like little supports, <laughs> mini obelisks. So I've pulled them forward. I've cut quite a bit out. If this middle part that I pulled down doesn't quite fill in properly, I may still come in and give it a little more of a trim. But they look much better. You can see right here, what I was talking about with the reseeding vincas. So they just really need to be redistributed better. They're all up in the front because the main plants were right here last year. So pull some back to fill in this area. I've got them all over. Here's the zinnias that need to be redistributed. But then I'd like to put some vincas down here amongst where my snapdragons need to still deadhead these. 
Oh, there's my glad that is uh, starting to bloom. And I want to put the vincas down basically anywhere there's uh, snapdragons. So we'll see if we get to that today or not. But come on, Betty, come show them what we're doing. We're going to come right over here. You can see with the rain how everything's flopping just a little bit. But look, there's one, two more glads over here with color on them. I'm my shed. But look, we've got another pinky one. And this one's going to be like a mauvey burgundy. That's going to be pretty. Definitely also need to cut back the mums so they don't bloom. So lots more deadheading. These marigolds are just struggling. I finally gave up and I cut this one back. And I think, I think he's just done for. He's not really growing back. This one has lots more blooms still, so we'll see. Maybe they'll do okay. But we're going to come over here. Here's our hydrangea stick that is not alive. Thanks, Mom. She tried. This one just didn't make it. Little fox gloves looking sad. It's about time for them to be done. But right over here, right here, can see the other hydrangea she gave me that looks perfect. So not perfect. Perfect. We are going to go ahead. We're just going to take him out and replace him with this beauty. And then eventually this one will be right here. It'll be beautiful. And the one over there will be beautiful. All these foxgloves are starting to peter out. And then we might put some other annuals in here. But remember when we planted our remembrance tiger lilies for my pretty kitty cat? They are, uh, they are starting to actually get some size on them. I'm really hoping that they bloom this year. All right, enough chit chat. Let's plant this thing. Got it planted. It is a little higher than I wanted. I wanted it kind of here, but the, the main hole of the other plant was just a smidge higher. And in the grand scheme of the bed, that is where I wanted the original plant. And since all of these things around it are annuals, we're gonna go ahead and stick with the original spot this would be a little low for the actual size of this hydrangea. It is an endless summer hydrangea called Summer Crush. It's supposed to stay pink. And it is 18 to 36 tall and wide, which means it should get about a foot and a half off the center. So that should be about right for the spacing here. It is supposed to stay a little purple to mostly this bright pink which is what I was wanting. I have the hydrangeas behind you that are kind of a lighter purpley pink but they look more purple. I wanted one that was really this kind of bright pink and this is supposed to stay really almost that bright pink in an alkaline soil so we may have to adjust that a bit over the years but it should bloom all summer. In its hardy zone 429, it wants full sun in Alabama, where I live, um, full sun and partial shade, which does say on the tag. Um, so under this tree gets a little bit of sun in the morning, but for the most part, it gets this dappled shade to full shade in the afternoon. So it should be very happy here. And I'll just fill in some of this down area like I did right here with 
some more little salvias. I've got like 20 or 30 that popped up after I originally transplanted the whole salvia field here. So I'm just gonna keep digging them up and popping them over here in between all the rest of the salvia. They get big and bushy as the summer grows on, but I'm, I'm gonna keep planting them up here. Maybe they'll reseed really well in this bed, which would be great. But for today, we are going to go ahead and start fertilizing annuals. Um, so I'm just doing the bubble gum, the um, lobelium, the cone flowers, all those true annuals uh, this week, as well as I still need to deadhead the marigolds and the cosmos, I think is all I have less left to deadhead. Also, did you see my blue um, steel faced angelonia is starting to bloom? So excited. I'm so happy that came back. It is technically an annual, but it came back. It's growing beautifully. I don't think I'm gonna have to replant that. Hopefully it'll keep doing it every year. I'm so excited. All right, break over. Thought I had my pruners in my pocket, but I don't. Do have these scissors. Oh. For some reason, of my three pincushion plants, this is the only one that's blooming. The other two keep growing big and beautiful, but no matter how I fertilize them, they're not blooming. I'm not quite sure what's wrong. Leave a comment down below if you know. All right, y'all. So that is my entire weekly Tuesday kind of routine. I go through and fertilize everything. I deadhead everything. I try to get some odd jobs done, like moving those plants and planting that hydrangea. My neighbors are cutting down some tall tree branches with a big pole saw, so I'm sorry if it's noisy. I'm going to pop over and try to move some of those salvia real quick. Um, I can't decide it is clear skies, Forecast says no rain on the horizon, but I keep hearing the rumble of thunder. So it might rain like crazy tonight, even though it's not supposed to. Hopefully all that fertilizer doesn't just wash away. Don't know how that works. Let's try to do the salvia real quick. And then at least if it does rain, it'll water all the salvia in. <laughs> Okay, so we got quite a few put in here. You can see all the little ones. There's one back there, over here, 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 and then whole swath down there, which would be good because between the oak leaf hydrangea 
and the uh, bubble gum down there. There's there's not a lot in this upper corner. Now, like I said, last year when I planted these, I'll try to find a picture to put up on the screen. But these pink salvia really got like almost three, four feet tall in this area. So I'm hoping they're just gonna take over and love this spot. But I'm a mess and it is still rumbling. So I'm not sure if it's gonna rain, but I'm gonna go in and clean up and we will do Binka and Xenia's another day, but I'll leave you with a little clip of the blue steel fist angelonia in bloom. Bye y'all. <laughs>